These are the scars of climate change. Rising temperatures mean that the frozen ground or permafrost is thawing. In this part of Siberia, they're seeing more and more of these. These mounds and hollows are called thermocasts. And where I'm walking now, this is where the permafrost has been thawing and soil has been sucked down into the earth. You can see some of these hollows have actually filled with water and a small pond like this can very quickly turn into a big lake. All of this is proof that rising temperatures are changing the Siberian landscape. That means less pasture land and more trouble getting around. Climate change has been causing all kinds of problems here. Where we're driving now was completely flat 20 years ago. There was actually an airport here and this was the runway. But because the permafrost has been thawing, the ground has fallen away. Siberia even has a whole city built on permafrost. Yakutsk. Uh, now we stay in 12 meters on the surface. It has its very own permafrost institute where they measure the rate at which the ground is thawing. Because that affects not just the city, but the climate too. And this is the perm permafrost, yeah? Yes, it's uh, permafrost. Uh, you see this layer, it's uh, enriched the uh, organic matter, the shrubs, uh, grass and... And what happens when the permafrost thaws? Organic matter uh, contains uh, a lot of uh, gases, uh, greenhouse gases and uh, when uh, permafrost thawing, they can go into air. So the more the permafrost thaws, the more gases go into the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah absolutely right. Talking of gases, scientists believe that this year's Siberian wildfires have accelerated permafrost thawing as far north as the Arctic Circle, contributing to global warming. But back in Churapcha, it isn't the fate of the planet that's worrying Ilya. He's too busy plugging holes to stop this permafrost pond from becoming a lake and washing away the house he's building. All the scrap he can find, he's dumping. As for the house, like all the buildings here, stilts are essential. <laughs> but what will Siberia be like for Ilya's children if climate change isn't tackled now? At risk are whole communities and livelihoods. As it is, the land here, bizarre, disfigured, is already a permanent reminder that change is happening.